What's going on YouTube? Welcome back today for another video. Today we're going to be changing the cab mounts or cab bushings or body mounts, whatever you want to call them, on my 2006 Ford F-250. So the first thing we're going to do, I've went ahead and pulled all of the back seat bolts. There are two on the passenger side in the front, two on the passenger side in the rear. So one right there, there's a stud back in there, I don't know if you want to see it, and then a stud right there, and then one right there. And then on the other side, there is one right here, and there is one stud in the back. So after you've got all that done, then we will go ahead and pull out our back seat. So now that you have your back seats removed, you can pull the carpet up, and right here, will be the middle cab bolt. You're gonna pull that rubber grommet out. Right here is the rear. Same on the other side. Same thing right here in the front. You have your rubber grommet. Your bolt is down in there. Underneath the hood. It'll be straight down through there. You can see it better on this side. I have to pull out the air intake right there. Right there, you can see it pretty good. Right so our next step will be loosening up this bolt. This bolt right here. And then of course the one in front of the front seat and the one underneath the hood. Okay guys, so this one is actually spinning. This is the bottom of the body mount. The Allen wrench just goes right in there. And then you just spin it from the top. Once you have that out. Now that we have the two rear bed bolts removed, we're going to go ahead and go to the front seat and remove that one. So we got this one out, finally. And I forgot to mention, but like before you start taking them out, also wanna heat them up to break loose some of that thread lock that's in there. So now we're gonna go around to the front. And way down in there is the other bed bolt. So we're just gonna pull out the air cleaner or intake, whatever you wanna call it. And I will see you then. So now that we've got all of the body bolts, cab bolts out on the driver's side, we're gonna go ahead and loosen up all of the ones on the passenger side, probably, probably about half an inch. We're gonna go ahead and back them out about half an inch. And then we will start jacking up the cab from the driver's side. So after I get the bolts backed out on the passenger side, I will show you how we're gonna be jacking this thing up. So we have our three-ton floor jack, a four by four and then a six ton jack stand and it's going straight up to the cab support and you just want to jack it up just high enough to pull out the uh, cab mount and as you can see these factory ones are gone so that's why the body lines on this truck weren't perfect right here with the bed so once we throw the new ones in there they will then be perfect so we're gonna go ahead and jack it on up just a little bit more, pull them all out, throw the new ones in, and then I'll see you on the other side. So here's the worst one that I've came across so far until I pulled out the other side. So there was one of them, that one's not too bad. That one's not too bad. That one's just starting to crack, but check this out. This one, on the passenger side in the rear it's gone so that's where the clunk was coming from and that's why the body lines were so bad off in the rear so as you can see 
this stuff just falls apart. And then, let me take this out. And then you can see this one as well. I mean, this one is just shot. But that's crazy. Check that out. It's not even there. So, this thing should uh, be a whole lot smoother and a whole lot quieter whenever I hit bumps now. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the other ones off and then throw this thing back together and I will show you a few tips and tricks that I learned. So right here, so the middle one on each side has completely seized up and I cannot get them out. So I may actually have to buy a replacement hardware and all and cut those out. Um, these up here in the front, I'll go ahead and pull that one off. So those aren't bad at all. So the two front ones on each side that are underneath the driver's side and the passenger side front doors, they ended up not being too bad. Both of the rears, the very, very back ones, were the worst. And these middle ones, I can't even get them off, so. They are just seized. So I think I'm gonna have to. They're actually in really good shape. So I thought about just leaving them. But the other one I already attempted to remove it. So I kind of can't do that now. But we'll figure it out. Okay guys, so I just figured I'd go ahead and show you how this goes together. This is the rear cab mount closest to the bed. So you pretty much, it. this goes in there like that. And then that will go down through the frame. And then here's your threaded end your bottom cup and that piece actually has a foam insulator on it as well like so and then that'll go together just like that your frame being in between here so what you want to do is whenever you have your new ones you're going to take off these old ones and then i have went with the energy suspension polyurethane kit it's on Amazon. I think it was like 95 bucks. I picked it up. Um, while doing a lot of research on which cab mounts or which cab bushings to purchase, pretty much stay away from the Daystars, um, at least on the 2011 and up trucks at least. Um, I reckon that they're smaller than they should be. And the cab will like squeak and move a little bit on the frame. So these came super nice. It was like two-day delivery through Amazon Prime I'll have the link to those in the description below so you want to take your upper cap your upper mount and just push that down onto there and then once you have your new bushing in here it's uh, actually shaped like an oval in the frame cutout so that'll just drop in there and these energy suspension they fit really nicely and then for the bottom coupler, you're going to have this. And then it has a side with uh, lettering numbering on it. I'm going to put that side down. And then that will go straight up through there. And that all fits together very nicely. And then you'll just run your bolt through there. So this one right here in the middle, it'll be the third one from the front this one right here is actually now this is just how mine is mine's a 2006 f-250 um mine was seized in there so it actually has a metal sleeve that goes up to the middle so this is the top it would sit like that and then the cab would come down on it this piece actually goes up onto it like this so the sleeve in the middle of that was actually seized and I had to take and cut it out. Uh, I had to make four slits, like a like a hashtag pattern. And then I could lift this up, see the sleeve down in there. And I tried and tried. I soaked that in PB Blaster. And you can actually beat on that from the top, like from inside of the cab. And I could not get that middle sleeve to come out. So that was actually seized in there. And 
Yeah, so that's what I had to do. But we finally got that out, and the one on the other side, see, these are rubber. This one isn't foam like the other ones, so really, you probably don't even have to replace that. So if you don't feel like doing the work, you really don't have to replace that one if yours is designed like that. But you can tell just by feeling of it if it's rubber or if it's the foam material. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace mine just while I'm here, but you know, the foam, if you have a foam one, it's probably gonna be disintegrated, so you'll wanna definitely change it. But if you have the rubber one, I guess that would be optional. Just depends on what kind of mood you're in. You know, some of the foam ones last, well, none of the foam ones last, but some last longer than others, I should say. So we're gonna go ahead and throw us a new one in there and put this thing back together, do the same thing on the other side. So as I said, um, we're just waiting on these center ones to come in at the Ford dealership and then we will throw that in there. These things deteriorate in like three to five years. Um, you know, like I said, this truck is a 2006, so it's 13 years old. The cab bushings really are in decent shape. I would assume that's from the low mileage and it's not been, it's always been garage kept. The previous owner uh, told me that it had always been garage kept, so I guess that's what saved them a little bit, but the passenger side rear cab mount was completely gone. Um, and then the driver side rear cab mount was almost gone. But we'll go ahead and show you this. So the this is the rear cab mount on the passenger side. And it's supposed to look like this. So as you can see, that just completely fell apart. So we're going to wait on this to come in from the Ford dealership. So whenever those get here in the morning, I'll go ahead and throw those in. As far as uh, skill level of this job, as long as you have a three-ton floor jack and some sort of way to jack it up on a level surface, uh, concrete or blacktop, I would say that this is a 5 out of 10 skill rating. Uh, pretty much just removing the back seat would be a little bit of a job. And then you pretty much just flip up the carpet, zip, zip all the bolts out. I think on the, on the um, 2008 and up, on the 2008 and up, you're not supposed to use an impact gun on them. On these, you actually can use an impact gun. I wasn't really sure of that, so that's why I didn't use one. But I ended up doing the other side with an impact gun because it's actually just threaded in there. There's no cage nuts like on the newer body style. On the 2008 and up, I think you go from the bottom instead of coming in from the top. So that middle bushing, we finally got it in from Ford. And what the deal is, is there are prongs on the inside that grab that as it goes through there. So whenever this goes up through there, like this, it'll grab that. And that's why I could not get that one out. But these are actually rubber, so like I said, that will be optional whether you want to go through that and change that or not. And really, this isn't even removable. So I don't know how you would go about removing that and changing that out because these will not come off of there. But these are rubber anyway, so they won't deteriorate like the foam ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in and then we will be done and back together. So we got all of the bolts back in, caps put over them. So last thing you wanna do is go ahead and put your seat belts back on then just throw the carpet back down put your back seat in bolt everything up and you are finished so i'd like to thank everybody for watching this video if you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up like subscribe we are going to go ahead and throw this thing back together and i will see you on the next one peace